Hey guys, so I hit up the garage sales and estate sales um, again this week. I'll share with you what I found. I'm really excited to show you um, this Monster High doll that I got because I only have one Monster High doll so this will make my second one that I have now and she's still in the box and she was seven dollars and um, her name is Ari ha Hauntington and she's supposed to like do something when you press it says press gem for music her gem necklace but it, it doesn't work so I asked that lady if she'd go down to uh, five dollars instead of seven so she let me go with five dollars because um, her like her necklace doesn't work it's supposed to play some music maybe I can get it to work somehow after I take her out of the box if I decide to take her out of the box and that lady, um, she said that she had other Monster High dolls, but she sold them all already in the morning, and I didn't go till like 12.30 in the afternoon, and she was the only one left, and that was probably because she's broke, so yeah, nobody wanted her since she doesn't work anymore, but I don't care about that, because I don't care about the, uh, them if they sing or not, I just like to collect the regular dolls, so that, that doesn't bother me that she doesn't um, sing, and... I think she's really pretty. I like her boots. I wish you could see her boots a little bit better, but her boots are, are purple. So I'm happy now that I have two Monster High dolls, and then I was happy that I found one still in the box. Because usually if you do find these dolls, they're missing their clothes, and they're all beat up, and their hair is all messy, and they're missing their accessories, like their shoes or their headband or something. So they're really hard to find in the box at garage sales. And like I said, I paid five for it. Next, another thing I was happy that I found was I always check their purses and my favorite brand um, of purse is Betsy Johnson or Betsyville by Betsy Johnson and I didn't find any so far. I mean, I've been going to garage sales for years and years and I didn't find any last year or the year before or the year before that and not even this year so far and this lady was selling a whole bunch of um, name brand purses that she had in one of those big plastic bins like you store like your Christmas decorations in and stuff on, on the floor I think she had two bins but one bin for sure and they were all name brand purses and then I kept digging and digging I, I saw a whole bunch of other ones like Coach and a bunch of, a bunch of other um, brands and then I found this Betsy Johnson one I couldn't believe it it says Betsyville and it's so cute. It has polka dots and these pink bows on it. And then I really like the little zipper pull on it too. It's a lightning bolt and it says Betsyville. The only thing I don't like about it is the strap that much. Um, the strap reminds me like too much of like a messenger bag. The strap reminds me of like, like I said, like a, of a messenger bag. But that's okay. And then... Uh, you open it on the front and then you also o open it on the top over here and then on the top the zipper pull is another lightning bolt and it says it also says Betsyville on there so I thought this was super cute and I was so happy to finally now to finally own a Betsy Johnson purse because I, I like I love Betsy Johnson not just her purses but her jewelry I love her jewelry anything that she has out especially her purses her purses are so cute that I'm into this kind of stuff something that's like unique and not, not your everyday something that you don't see every day and this m like metal plate on here is really heavy that says Betsyville and so oh and I for almost forgot to tell you that this purse was only 350 all the other name brand purses she was asking for like $20 price tags on them um, $23, $40, even I even saw one purse there for 50 and I asked her, oh, do you have any other Betsy Johnson purses? And she said, no, th th this is the only one she has. So I couldn't believe this one was marked only 350 So I got that, and it said, oh, and it's in really, really good condition. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's not, it's not ripped, it's not dirty, it looks almost brand new. Okay, next... I got this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crust cutter. Like when you make like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, it shows in the corner over here. You can cu um, cut out like a face of, of a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Kind of like a cookie cutter, but for like a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And this one's Leonardo. It's brand new in the pack, and it says it's by Nickelodeon. And 
I got him and he was only 50 cents still in the pack. I'm sure this probably retailed at least for $2.99. I like Leonardo too, I like all the turtles, but Michelangelo is my favorite. So I can't wait to, to use this. And then I found some DVDs. Um, these DVDs weren't from the same garage sale, they were at separate garage sales, but they were both only $2. I got the Revenant, this was only $2, and then I got The Martian, also $2. They had other movies I liked, but I was on a budget, so I couldn't spend a lot. I left a lot of stuff back. I mean, if I, if I picked up everything from these garage sales, it would have cost me probably close to $100 or $100. So I had to pick and choose um, what I wanted and what I had to leave back. And then I found these like hippie looking type of glasses. I find I found these light pink ones and they have like a gold frame on it. And they're light pink. I don't like the style that much, like the round, really round ones, but I really like this light pink because pink is my favorite a second favorite color. So and I have a lot of pink clothes and I thought that was would be cute for summer with some of the pink outfits I have. She wanted five dollars for these, but she let me have them for a dollar, so that was pretty cool. And then I found an, at an estate sale. This is not from a garage sale. Estate sale. I found this cute little trinket box with two kittens on here and a butterfly. Very cute. It's small. It's small, but it's cute. And then you can just put like something in here like your rings or a necklace or a bracelet or something or even some change again I collect anything with cats so I was happy to find this for only a dollar and then I found these smurf little these smurf figures this must have came I don't know from what line or something but Gargamel and Azrael looks like they're celebrating a birthday because he has, they both have party hats on, like birthday hats on, and he has like a bouquet of flowers in his hand. And I found, oh, and Azrael has a green bow on his tail. And then I found Papa Smurf too. And Papa Smurf has some, it looks like some kind of concoction in his hand in a, in a glass. And he's wearing a tuxedo with a bow tie. So I don't know. Maybe he's attending the same party that Gargamel and Azrael are. And those are the only Smurf figures they had, just these three. And then I found this Celestial, I think it's a, it's very heavy glass. And it's this dark blue color, I think it's a candle holder, but I'm not sure. And it has sun on there and half moons and small little stars all around it. So that's pretty cool because I like anything um, celestial things too. And then I found this music box or like this music figurine. It's very big and it's really heavy. This one with the cats on here. And it says some cats need more than nine lives. And then it shows this tabby cat looking out the window at the birds in the background through the window the birds are in the back. And he's like climbing the window and the cur he's holding on to the curtains. And then there's a black cat laying down over here. And then there's some cute little, like this little cat toy on, on, the, on the bottom. And he has this grin on his face. And there's a picture frame here. With, there's a picture frame and has a picture of a cat in it. And then it has this mouse in the corner. And then it has like a shelf over here with cute little like vases, small little vases on here. And then on the side it has a picture of a tabby cat and then on this other side it is a picture of the black cat. And then on the back you can see the cat over here better. He's looking out at the birds. And then there's a blue bird here, and then there's some like plants down here, a whole b different kinds of plants on the bottom, and then there's this brick border. And it also plays music.
Um, I don't know what song it plays, but I tried it. Oh, it's from the San Francisco Music Box. It says, Angus and Friends, Cats Need Nine Lives. Wow, I didn't even know it was from the San Francisco Music Box. This will go great in my collection. If you want to check out my playlist, I just posted not too long ago um, some of my San Francisco Music Box collection of my water globes that I have, of my fantasy water globes. And I have a couple of other ones, too. If you want to go check and watch that, I didn't even notice. Oh my God, I was I was in a hurry, so I didn't even check the markings on the bottom at all. At all, I just t turned it on just to make sure the uh, music worked on it. It says 668 out of 1,000. Uh, I wonder what the year this is. It says I believe I can fly. I think is the title of the song. Wow, I wish they would put the year on here, but they didn't put the year. That's awesome. Oh, and I forgot to tell you. It had a, a $2 price tag on it, but since the one blue bird in the back over here, his tail is broken off, so they let me have it for a dollar, which is almost nothing. You, you can not barely even tell, because this is in the back, so you won't even be able to tell. So that's awesome. This probably retailed for $35, $40, or $30 at the cheapest, because I used to shop at the, at the San Francisco Music Box Company all the time. So this probably was between $30 and $40. Wow, that's a, I was so happy to, to, to find this done for sure. Like I said, I only paid a dollar for it, and they were asking two. Okay, next I found some jewelry. I found this um, bracelet, the silver bracelet with these small hearts on it, and the hearts are all different colors, like green, blue, pink, purple. Very cute. And then I got some rings, because my favorite piece of jewelry are, are rings, and I found this silver one that it has some of the astrological signs on here. Um, I checked and it has Virgo which I'm a Virgo, so I got it right away. It has Virgo over here with the lady carrying the wheat. And then it has Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer on there. So that was a really unique, cool find. This was also at the state sale. And then I found this ring. This um, It's plastic, but I thought it was nice. It's pink and black. And then I found this ring. It has yellow or like citrine-like stones. And it has light green stones and purple stones. And it's silver. And then I found this one with the diamonds and the blue stones, almost like sapphire, almost. And this one's like a little bit tarnished, but that's okay, because I didn't pay much for it. And I'm, I, I can get a jewelry cleaner, hopefully from Walmart or something. And this one's a little bit uh, like thick. I like it because I like blue. And then I like Egyptian things, and I found this cool like Nefertiti, I think, um, pin or brooch. It's in very good condition, almost like new. It was a dollar. And then I got this another ring with these like purple leaves and two tiny little like diamonds in the middle. This was three dollars. She wanted five but she let me have it for three. And then I found this ring here. This was a dollar. This one with like a sil silver heart. And now I like the band on it. It has like, the band looks like knots or or like rope. It's like um, uh, ribbed. Very cool. And then I got this one. This is a really unique ring. It's like a box. I mean like a square. 
like a square and when you look at it from different angles you see purple but then at a different angle it's just like clear and then you move it again it's purple and then it's clear I never seen something like that very very cool and it's adjustable which I like because if I, if I when I gain and lose weight um, I can just adjust it then and then I found two necklaces I found this um, glass so it's supposed to look like crystal but I don't think it's real crystal I think it's glass this heart shaped one this white one that looks like crystal with a silver chain it was only a dollar and then I found this other one that's almost like that other one but it's blue it's a blue like a light blue like almost like baby blue glass heart and then it has these two little blue um, like little blue stones on the top to match the blue heart pendant and the chains like a copper color not silver it's like a copper and then um, I think I have one more thing to show you these cute little flocked cats that I, they, she just ended up giving them to me for free I think this is supposed to be mama cat and she has a pearl necklace which is super cute and look at her face they're all flocked and then I think these are supposed to be her kittens there's one and then there's two and this one's cute she has a little bow on her a blue bow on her head and there's three like I said I got this she just gave them to me for free um, <clears throat> that's what I got today like I said there was a lot more stuff that I wanted there was a lot more jewelry and purses and movies and other cool stuff too but I just couldn't get everything but I'm happy with what I found today so I might go to two more garage sales tomorrow I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I have to see if I can find anything it's very it's a hit or miss with me since I'm so picky with things so but I was really happy it was a surprise to find the Monster High doll and the Betsy Johnson purse so thanks for watching guys. Bye.